Hey there! You guys remember that Undertale video, um, the Undertale songs rank video I did? The one a while back that nobody saw? Well, now I'm gonna go ahead and check out Deltrune, the sort of sequel to Undertale. Also, I know that people saw it, but I'm just kidding. Uh, I actually really enjoyed making that video, so I'm making this one now. Hooray! And if you don't know what Deltrune is, uh, and you let yet again live under a rock like Patrick, then uh, Mr. Man or Woman, let me tell you about Deltarune. Deltarune is a game made once again by Mr. Dogman Doggo himself, Toby Friggin Fox. The main summary of the game is that you take you, that you basically play as a kid named Chris, who's the adopted son of Toyo and Asgore with a brother named Asriel. Yes, it's that Asriel. And during the week, Asriel's supposed to come back, you meet a girl named Susie, and you fall into the dark world when you accidentally stumble into the weird supply closet and just fall through the ground. I mean, the game is basically just an AU, like a just an official AU of Undertale. And uh, it's my personal game theory that this is a world where um, instead of the monsters being sealed into the underground, it actually never happened. The monsters never sealed into the underground, and in fact, they just live peacefully on the surface. At least that's my headcan to what's um, actually going on in this game. Also, another thing is that the game, unlike Undertale, has the outlying message of that like none of your choices matter, which I find is really cool for an Undertale sequel. Sure, you get different dialogue choices, but like like there's no main choices you can make the characters just make it for you there's nothing you can really do to change the game except for one outcome that really doesn't really change anything to be honest and uh, again a couple pieces of dialogue which is it i mean i would highly recommend playing this game it's not long because well it's not finished and um toby fox is making all the chapters to this game before he releases it so like right now at the time of making this video he I think just fin is about to just finish chapter 2. He's been making progress on it, don't worry, but it's gonna take a while before the other chapters are released, considering that we don't even know how many chapters there are, but I'm guessing it's 5. But I mean, yeah. Anyway, he's on there, but you know, I really like this game. I couldn't recommend it enough. Especially the songs. I mean, you read the title, didn't you? I mean, that's what I'm doing. So come join me! Pal friend, buddy pal, chum bud friend, fellow brother, amigo pal, buddy friend, chummy chum. As we now rank all the songs of Deltrune so far, yeah, the game's supposed to have like over 100 songs, uh, like Undertale, but I'm just gonna get a head start, um, you know, before I basically game end myself making that video when it comes out, because like, golly, Toby is probably gonna make random sounds be in his soundtrack again. And the rules are relatively the same, it's based on how I like the song, what the community has done with it, how the scene is, etc. There won't be sections this time, it's only 40 songs, because, so you know, I didn't want to split into sections, I'll probably actually put little timestamps for each one. But yeah, so let's get right into this countdown, starting with... These are some very weird, weird birds. Starting off our list at number 40 is Weird Birds. I mean, this isn't really a song, it's just birds chirping and ominous sounds. I get that as a earthbound reference, but like, I mean, does this count as a song or it's just noise? I mean, it, it's a song that plays before a song that I really will get to later, don't worry. But I mean, you know, uh, foreshadowing, but like, yeah, there's nothing else to really say about this song, it's just noise and buzz, like these weird buzz and earthbound reference. So yeah. These are some strange cliffs, I guess, and coming in at number 39 is cliffs. Just again, ominous noise, so I don't know what to say. Higher than Weird Bird since it's longer, but that's not really saying much. Coming in, number 38, Fanfare from Rose of Winter. Very, very short song. Man, this is such a spooky door. Coming in at number 37 is The Door, 
another ominous noise song. I, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry if they're fans of this song, but it's literally just ominous noise. I'm gonna disappoint you guys with this one. Number 36, Another Hymn. So, this is the first song in the game, and I think it's boring. I, I do enjoy the gasted parts of it, like the gasted steam parts of it, but again, it's not doing it for me, really. I mean, it's like, it's the opening part of the song, it's trying to be it's the opening part of the game, and it's trying to be ominous, but like, for me, it just doesn't work out that, you know, like, that good. Also, speaking of Gaster, I didn't put him in my ranking because he's not part of the official soundtrack on, you know, Spotify where I listen to it. But, I mean, technically Mad Mew Mew isn't, but, like, Mad Mew Mew was in the game and Gaster, you had to search for the files for his song. But, I mean, if I did include, on, uh, include it on my list uh, for the Undertale one, he'd probably be in the 30s because that song is actually such a banger. I'm not gonna lie. But, yeah, uh, number 36, another hymn. Moving on. Man, he's very bad. Coming in at number 35 is I'm Very Bad. I like Lan the Lancer feel of this song. Um, did I just spoil my feelings of La on Lancer? Not high up because, you know, it's, it's, it's one, it's short, and two, I don't like it too much. I don't actually like um, this version of Susie's song. Um, even if I enjoy Lancer, which I, get, I think I kind of spoiled my view on Lancer. Coming at number 34 is Gallery. This song, I don't really know, I just don't like too much. It's a song that plays before another song that, you know, I'll get to later, but I, I don't know. It's another one of those songs that play before a song, but it feels a little bit better in this one. It would be higher if it wasn't really just the same thing over and over again constantly. I mean, yeah. Uh, moving on to the next one. Coming in at number 33 is Im Imminent Death, and I feel threatened by, 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 by Susie right now, jeez. This song, again, is one of those, um, a song that plays before a song, but, I mean, at least it isn't the same thing over and over again. It repeats after a while, but it's not too quick.
This darkness is falling, I guess. No, coming in number 32 is Darkness Falls. I feel it's a neat death song, but I, it doesn't feel as great as Determination. That song made you feel hopeful, this one just made you feel sad. I mean, like, Determination made you feel sad too because it was like kind of depressing, but it was like, it still had those higher beats that made you feel hopeful. This one's like, oh yeah, you just died, the world ended the end. And coming in at number 31 is Beginning! A nice intro to what the game's gonna be and how the town is. Also some Undertale and, Del and Leia Deltune song parts I enjoy in it. But it's lower since honestly, after the first time it doesn't do anything else for me other than remind me of that scene. Which is still good, but it doesn't- after the first time it's just, eh, it doesn't really do anything else. And I feel like that's why it got low on the list. It would've been probably in- like top 20s for me um, previously, but listening to it so much just pretty much put downplayed it. Uh. And coming in at number 30 is Wooks. Rules, rules souls card. I, I don't know. I'll just I, I don't know. All I know is that he's a rules card or something from card games. I don't even know what the heck that is. It's a fun song, but it's short and repeats. Though I do like this puzzle guy a little. I mean, he, look at him. Look at him. He's just trying to make some puzzles and you ruin it for him. Why? Coming at number thirty-nine, the circus. Man, I actually feel like I'm in a circus. It's a fun song, but not the best. It is a good song for this character. Did I just give away my opinion for another character again? Ah, oh, dang it! Your power! A uh, short song, but you, you've seen how I like guitar riffs, so yeah! Imagine you chalk and bullying kid. Coming in number 27 is Susie. Nice song for Susie as it shows how her character is, like, you know, when you first meet her, and how she's a bad girl and doesn't care. Man, is that untrue. Coming in number 26 is, uh, I almost said 36, uh, sorry, 26 is Basement. Man, Lancer just locked us in his basement like diesel patches. Please let me out, diesel, I swear uh, to God, you have one million of us locked down here. Please, I'm starving. Anyway, good song. Scary fun, but not higher up since it gets boring after a while. Number 25, The Holy. Honestly, the song... It's, it's really nice. I don't know why. I don't know why I like the song more than others. I just think it it's good. It sounds like something beautiful, and I love it so much. But other songs are incoming, so hold on a second. I don't understand why people don't like this song. Coming at number 24 is The Chase. Personally, I like it a lot. It's some fun chase music and makes it so cool and such. And, well, I just like it. And I, I'm honestly lost at why people don't enjoy it more. I usually see it in the bottom parts, like the bottom 30 of this li of like, um, list. Like, maybe like barely top 30, but still, like, I don't get it. I mean, sure, there are better songs. As you can see, it's only 24 out of 41, but... I at least gave it nearly halfway. I I'm just saying, I don't get why some people hate this song. I feel like it's fine.
coming at number 23 is school. If this actually played in school, I'd be happy to be there a lot more. A really fun and lively song. I just like to semi dance to it when I hear the song and really love it. It's not higher since I kinda don't like the environment too much, but like, you know, it's, it's enjoyable, but literally it's just a school that you barely see for a little bit. All you see of it is like at the beginning and then literally at the end of the game, but there's not that much to it. Hopefully at least we get to see like the other classrooms, maybe there's other characters inside those classrooms too. So I mean, yeah, that would be some neat references, but yeah. Hopefully we see more of this environment next game. And number 22 is Thrash Machine. A really good song. It sounds like some elevator music and I just love to think that it actually is elevator music. Thrash Machine is... Uh, I enjoy the concept and the fact that you build anything is cool too. But you know, your choices don't matter. But so, you know, it just blows up anyway. It's a fun song. I like the lyric versions that people make since they, they're, they're pretty funny. You'll let me, you'll hear me talk about those lyrics versions later, but still. Uh, enjoyable song. All of your music is really cool. And yeah. Number 21, Card Castle. This castle of, car of the cards or whatever has some pretty good ominous music, something you'll never hear me say. I do feel that it's quite slow, but you'll hear me talk differently ab about the faster version of this song, hit hit nudge nudge, but yeah, um, actually some ominous music I enjoy for once, and yeah. Number 20, April 2012. I like the song, it has some techno feels, and I and it just really feels so fun. And it's also a reference to when Toby first made these characters. Like, not it's not Undertale characters, it's the Deltoon characters he made first. Like, you know, all the card characters, Lancer, even his dad. And then it shows, it really does, like, um, show the development between uh, Undertale and Deltoon. I just at least think it deserves a spot for that reference alone. Like, he didn't even have to go back that far to make that big of a reference, or heck, even make the song for that reference, but he did, which I quite enjoy. So yeah, moving on. Number 19, Checker Dance. Honestly, a fun song. It has the same feel as Metaton's theme, and other people have the same opinion since they basically remixed this song with Death by Glamour, and I mean, they were really, they were really some bangers. It's a really fun song to dance to, but it's not higher for me because for me it feels basic. But I mean, that's just my garbage opinions. Maybe you guys have other opinions about it, but to me it just feels a little bit basic sometimes. But I mean, yeah, um, that was Checker Dance, and I'm moving on to the next one. Number 18, The Legend. This sounds like some scene in a fairy tale, and I like it. It's similar to Undertale's opening, but this one feels so much better, at least song-wise. It really tells you this world, you, you know, it, it really tells you this world really well, and I enjoy it for that. Especially the feeling of the legend, as it sounds and feels like a legend. Only nitpick I really have is that the legend is so short, but it does hint at upcoming chapters of Deltrune, a lot by talking about the night and what now, I don't even know. Maybe that's Azrael game theory nonsense. But I mean, yeah, it's a really fun. I like the neat visuals with it. 
like, um, the whole, I like, okay, I'm gonna bring it up again, but I like lyrics versions of it, because they actually make it sound really cool with Rousey commenting over it, and yeah, I just love that so much, and again, I can't, like, say that it's good, uh, too good, though, because it is number 18 on the list, so, sorry about that, but, I mean, yeah, it's a good song, it's a good, um, thing to, like, get the ball rolling about, um, uh, what this world is. Coming at number 17 is Lantern. Just a fun song to listen to. Seem, Shom, uh, uh, let, I'll just call him Shom, is one of my favorite characters even though he doesn't really do anything, yet I feel this song like really just fits him. It just fits him so well. It, it feels like a song for what is a broken stuff tearing an, um, stuffed animal. And the song complements it so well. It's a neat song and I really enjoy it because it just complements that so well. But yeah, anyway, moving on to the next number. Number 16, Friendship. This is honestly a cute song. It's like so much fun and reminds you of Reunited, where you, you know, you go back and talk to the friends you made along the way. It's actually the only song that is different through your choices. Like, you know how um, Undertale had the neutral genocide and past fits um, endings and they had different songs? Well, this is the only one that's actually different if you basically spare everyone and spare the um, Chaos King during the fight. And like, I actually quite enjoy it um, as one of the only ones that changes. It's not higher though since, you know, one, it's not really a major thing. Two, people usually miss out on it, which kind of lowers the impact of it. And three, I feel like you don't meet everybody back again. You kind of just meet up with a couple people and, you know, they, obviously everything isn't fulfilled since the game isn't even complete yet. But it, it doesn't have that same feeling as Reunited did. But I still think it's enjoyed by a way. And, I mean, I did my best to get this ending all the time. I did my best to get this ending just for the song too. Because, like, you know, obviously I want to talk to Lancer again. Uh, I hit, hit, nudge, nudge. But, like, I also want to hear this song. So, you know, it's pretty fun. And I love it so much. Here is the song that people put in every single YouTube video they do. And it, there's a good reason why. Coming in at number 15 is Hip Shop. This song just... You can just relax to and and it truly feels great for what literally is a hip shop. Honestly, the best store song is the best store song in the game. Perhaps even in both games, this is the best one. But there's only two in this game, so you know there was no competition. But I feel like between both games, this one is actually the best one. I mean, it's just so relaxing and with them. I mean, and, you know, it just makes you feel so fun and YouTube friendly. Yeah, I'm about to put this in my YouTube videos later on, but yeah, it's very enjoyable and I love it. So, uh, moving on to the next one. Jesus, this song is so underrated. Number 14, Quiet Autumn. In my Undertale video, I talked about Quiet Water and said that there was a song in another game that was better. And if you can, you know, think for a second, then you probably guessed already what I'm talking about. Quiet Autumn is so relaxing, it's just so relaxing to listen to, and it just removes stress instantly, that's why I listen to it for. It just makes you feel less stressed, and I honestly enjoy that. This song really does deserve a lot more attention though, because I feel like people would enjoy it a lot more, but I usually see it in the bottom of rank, like, like not bottom, but like usually in the 20s, not the 10s. I feel like it deserves the tens. It's such a good song, even if it's only le like less than a minute long. It's still very really enjoyable. Number 13, Before the Story. Before the Story is just really nice. It's a really nice song for the menu of this game. And I know it's also played in Undertale's PS4 menu, but I feel it fits this game so much better. Amazing menu for this game, and I hope it's used more in uh, um, the upcoming chapters. Like, I still hope it's um, still used as the menu theme because this one's actually really perfect for Deltarune, in my opinion. Undertale already had its menu theme, 
this one just fits Deltarune so much better. And yeah. Number 12, Empty Town. This song makes me feel so alone. With Browsey, I guess. It's a song that fits so perfectly with its location. Uh, like, you know, a once bundling and prosperous town, well, is now empty, and this song really makes that stand out. It's both really sad yet relaxing, and it helps Browsey's character, in my opinion, a lot more, making it kind of sad, but also kind of, you know, kind of cute in a sort of way. I don't know, it has a like, cute feel, but e it's really sad because Mousey's basically all alone in this town. I mean, I honestly think it's a really good song. I hope we see it in the next chapter. Heck, maybe it gets like, more lively. Like, for example, one thing I've seen people bring up is that what if in the future chapters, each time you, like, go through the dark world and, like, do, you know, finish the chapter, the town gets bigger and bigger with more people actually in it. That's a really cool concept, and I hope that the song reflects that every single time by getting, like, more, you know, like, complete and more happy. But yeah, that's just my headcanon, okay? So, yeah. Um, coming in number 12 is Empty Town. Let's move on to the next one. So... I'm very sorry about this song before I reveal it. Don't get me wrong, it's a good song, but like, um, you know, I, I just couldn't, it just couldn't break the top 10. Number 11, Don't Forget. Now, now, listen to me. It's a good song, but one, it's really short, and two, it's really short. It's still, it's, it, I still like the song so much. I hope we hear it again in the next game. Heck, maybe it slowly gets longer, maybe? And, but, I mean, that's just my opinion. But, like, it's a good song. It's just that it really couldn't break top 10. I'm sorry. But, uh, you know, again, it couldn't break top 10 in my opinion. But it's still a great song either way. Oh my god, this song feels so nice. Coming at number 10 is A Town Called Hometown. It's a great song for what it's about, it's, you know, a town called hometown. You explore this town as your home, and, you know, this song really makes you feel that way. It makes you recognize this place as your town. I mean, it may be because I'm a sucker um, for the town's look, but this song just feels so right, and I love it. I just love the town in general, and... I just really love this song. The only nitpick I would have is that, you know, it, it plays so much if you're really slow at the game, but like even then you can still, you know, just just chill out to it. That's what you usually do to a lot of the um, music in the overworld. So yeah, um, I just really love it. And yeah, moving on to the next one. I love this character. <laughs> Number 9, Lancer. You know, there's, don't, not to call a spade a spade, but he is a spade. Yeah, the uh, the um, Dark Jack Lancer, yeah. This song, just like Papyrus in Undertale, is too perfect. Like, heck, it's, it's like perfect. It, heck, it's too perfect for this character. I, and I guess I'm biased since I love Lancer so much, and, well, this song just... It's just so much fun, again, like Papyrus. It's... I mean, is Lancer going to be my Papyrus in this game? Of course he is. And uh, so you may be asking if I love Lancer so much as Papyrus, and why I put it number 9? Well, because there are so many other good songs in this game, I just couldn't put my boy any higher. But I mean, you guys um, may see him again, you know, just saying hit, hit, nudge, nudge 
Also, again, not call a spade a spade, but he is a spade. Number eight, you can always come home. Oh my god, this song is like such a better version of home. And I'm sorry if I offended anybody with that statement. This version I love so much better than home. And well, it's it's just so calming. Like it, it's pretty much just. I mean, I don't know. I, I it's pretty much all the said, stuff I said about home, but times ten. And it, I mean, like it could really attach to the song so much. Toyo's house feels nicer since, well, you know, it's an actual realistic house. I'm sorry, but like, that house is like humongous, like Jesus Christ. And again, like, everything I said about home can just really fit into this song so well. And again, are better than this, uh, in this version of the song. It's a great song, and I hope we hear it again in Toyo's house. Like, maybe they even, like, maybe, I don't know, just like other songs, it gets... Maybe higher pitch to like a revamped version for when like Asgore and Asriel come visit the house. Cause you know, it, it basically, it'd be the whole family back together. But yeah, that's not, again, that's my headcanon, but yeah, let's move on to the next part of the list. I told you you see him again. Coming in number 7, Versus Lancer. Versus Lancer is so fast and fun, and it's really some great and brutal battle music, and it's so good, it just gets you pumped instantly. I don't really have anything else to say for this song, I just, you know, I just thought, like how, it's just like Papyrus, okay, it's just like Papyrus. Lancer gets a remix for his fight, it's not just the same thing over and over again, which I enjoy so much. And... I mean, like, I just love these two characters, I'm sorry. But yeah, I just... I mean, like, you know, I can't... I can't say anything more about it, okay? It's a really good fight song. It's not the best, obviously, it's this is number 7, but, like, it's a really good one, and it just gets you in there so much. I actually hope we get, like, maybe a play fight with Lancer in the next game, and they play the song again, because, I mean, that fight was so much fun. Coming at number 6, Versus Suzy. Again, if you look at my Spotify playlist, then you know why I love this song. I mean, like, so much. This song is just pure rock and roll, and I love it, and whatnot. Like, the, the scene is really good with it. it it's so good, but, you know, Lancer pulling a Toyo and not trying to kill you, and, and so good. And it ba basically shows that Suzy does have a heart and really cares about Lancer, which I find really funny and they you know uh, um it kind of just gave birth to a bunch of fan fiction writers to like basically just break their hands writing all this stuff but yeah i i just love the rock and rock aspect of this song like uh, it's so good and i think it deserves a spot though i will say lancer must have the most health of all time because golly look how big that axe is and look how much damage he keeps taking yeah he's like completely fine with it like I know he was about to die but like he was still it like after Susie stopped he was fine I, I don't get it but like yeah that's how that's how um Lancer works I guess he's the most OP character and it, this is a really good song so coming in number six versus Susie let's move on to the next one this song is actually underrated too Coming in at number 5, Scarlet Forest. Oh my god, this song is so good. Like seriously, I mean it's so underrated. You're just walking through this forest, 
And this song sounds so beautiful. I just love the floor so much. I just love it as a whole so much. It's my second pl favorite place in the game. You can probably guess what the first one is when I actually get to that part. But yeah, it's like so good. The song is underrated and I feel like it deserves number 5. But there are 4 other songs that are better than it. Again, underrated song, but it's so good that you can't just, you can't deny it at all. Coming in at number 4, Rude Buster. This is such good battle music. It's so much better than enemy approaching or stronger monsters and, and technically anticipation. I mean, holy crap, this song just slaps. It's high paced, exciting fun, and it's such a good song for battle. It makes sense why people use this song in videos. Heck, I do it. I do it too. I did it in one of my Star Wars Squadrons videos. And like, it, it's so high paced. Uh, you can tell people just jam out to the song every time. It's just pure fun. Every time they listen to it for the first time, they just, just start jamming out to it. And like, it's probably the one of the most recognized songs from this game. Like, even if there are three better ones in my opinion, this is probably the ro most recognized one from this game. Heck, I bet there's, you know, some people who don't even know it's from this game. That's how recognized it is. It's like basically Megalovania of this game. It's so much, it's so like meme they recognize. I just love that because I think this is actually a good song. It hasn't been memed to death yet, at least. And like Megalovania, but that was five years, so you know. I mean, give it its time, maybe it, w it will be. But I just hope we hear it as the regular bell music in the next game. If they ever change it, then like, I, I hope the guy is actually better than Root Buster because I want there to be a b better bell song. And I don't have to basically fill out the 30s and 20s again. But yeah, it's, it's a most recognized song in the game, but there are 30. There are, huh, there are three better songs in it. So yeah, let's move on to those. Number three. The world revolving, and oh my god, why the why is the world spinning? Help me! This song, again, it's, it's, it's a good song. It's such a fun song. Heck, it used to be my favorite, but, well, you can see that two other songs beat it out. But anyway, this song is it's so good for not only Jevil, but also the fight it's in. It completes the, the craziness of the fight, and I just love it so much. Heck, this song was the first one I heard remixes of. This was one of the first Deltrune songs I heard remixes of because it was legitimately one of my favorite songs. But yeah, I mean, like, honestly, just it's, it was just a fun song. It got me so much into these remixes and a bunch of these YouTuber remixes. Undertale did that, but like, I didn't actually follow these YouTubers until after the world revolving where I found out all these remixes and lyrics versions. But yeah, I just love it so much for that. It has that part in my heart that I will never forget. So even if I forget every single one of these songs, this one I will remember the most. Well, actually not really, because there are two better songs than it. But yeah, coming in at number three is The World Revolving. Let's get down to the final two. Oh my god, is it safe to say that I'm scared of Lancer's dad? Coming at number 2, Chaos King. Like, this song, again, just like all the other songs before it, it just fits so perfectly with this fight. Fighting the Chaos King is also a good fight, even if it's just weighing him out. Because, like, nothing you do basically root, um, basically just uh, outcomes the fight. It's either you fight him or he just keeps um, defending until he, until he does his uh, last attack. This song feels so right with the fight though, I can't keep loving it since 
Uh, it's so good. Another thing I love, I love that helped this put this song out there is every single remix of this gosh dang song. Like many of them include like a form of rock and roll where they get their guitars out and start jamming. I love that so much. It's like versus Susie, but like this is like ten times better. And heck, they even throw in some metal versions of it too, which I love. And holy crap! Like, I can't keep saying how good this song is for me. It's better than Battle Against a True Hero for me. And it's maybe up there with Undertale. Heck, it probably is better than Undertale in some aspects. Like, when I want to jam out, or, like, you know, when I want to jam out, I'll listen to this. But if I want to relax, I'll listen to Undertale. Again, it's such a good and great song. It, like, the remixes, the lyrics, the fight, the actual song itself is so good. But it's not number one. That spot will go to... You guys knew this had to be here, right? Number one, Field of Hopes and Dreams. The Field of Hopes and Dreams is such a beautiful and perfect song. I say that it's even better than Undertale. Heck, I'm gonna say right now, it's better than Undertale. It, like, every single song from Undertale is better than that. Like, I can't stop saying this song is so good. I can't stop, like, sucking this song, okay? It's so good. This song makes you hopeful because again it's called a field of hopes and dreams and the references are so good from the references to undertale with hopes and dreams to toho tohu toao i don't know but with the song popping up in the uh, and the title of it and all that whatnot it's so good like i mean you know a song is so good with toby fox is like confident enough to basically put the title of the song right there in your face saying this is my song Listen to it right now. Like, it's so good. Like, my god. My god. And, like, the field is my favorite place, too. Like, so you can actually uh, get what I was hinting to towards earlier. And, heck, this was my hint at the beginning of the video. If you listen to early buzz, I said it was a song I played against our song I really talk about. This is the song. This is the song I really talk about. I mean, I can't just stop saying how good the song is. It's such a great song. Holy crap, I can't. I can't stop saying that. The remixes of this song are so good, lyrics versions are so good, they are on there. The, I, I, every single remix of it I've heard is still so good. Like, I mean, like, God, from the Undertale, Deltrune, Tohu, whatever references there is, this song is so great, and it truly is the greatest freaking song in this entire game. Nay, in both Undertale and Deltrune is the best song in either game. Nah, screw you guys. It's actually dog, dog Tarun or whatever the heck that means. It changed my mind, lol. Thanks so much for enjoying the video again. If you made it here, I'm trying to branch out more rankings with these, but like, you know, I'm trying to branch out more with these rankings. So if you guys have some suggestions, I should do like. Games that I would like tell you what games I'll know. Maybe if you write in the comments saying, um, try to do songs for this game, and I'll do only games I know. But if I, you know, if I actually, you know, didn't play any, then I'll probably look them up, and it'll take me a while, but I'll probably try and do it. But yeah, um, again, tell me in the comments if you want me to do any uh, more rankings. Um, but uh, yeah, um, thank you guys so much for enjoying. Make sure you like. Subscribe, turn on notifications, as well follow my Twitch, join the Discord, even though that place is a, um, it, it's a really, it's not that you're doing so great, so you know, I don't know. But thank you guys so much, and until next time, see ya, and bye.